SPF is your BFF unless you have acne and breakout prone skin. It can be so painful to use sunscreens that literally sting your open blemishes. And then sometimes the sunscreen formula itself feels like it's breaking you out more. I have very acne prone skin that I have thankfully gotten under control and I've tested multiple hundreds of sunscreens. And today I bring you the best sunscreens for those that are acne prone. We're gonna be talking zit stick up. We're gonna be talking some K-beauty. We've even got some Dr. Sandra Lee MD, AKA pimple popper up in here. But I wanna say it doesn't feel like there is an excellent acne prone sunscreen on the market. Even some of the best sunscreens for acne, I don't think are a slam dunk. And so far I have not found the perfect sunscreen for those who are blemish prone. Although some of them do come pretty close. So let's start talking about those. Let's dissect what's in these bottles and how they work on acne prone skin. But I think it's also important to point out what I look for in a sunscreen for acne. Because yes, we want it to protect us from the sun, but we also wanna make sure that it doesn't burn or sting our skin. I look for something that doesn't sting or has minimal stinging or irritation, but I also look for something that doesn't contribute to redness. Blemishes and pimples are already red and irritated. And if I find a formula that just makes those red pimples look worse, I feel worse about myself. And of course you want a formula that preferably won't clog pores. Now the whole comedogenicity scale is absolute bullshit. We've spoken about that multiple times, but there are certain ingredients like coconut oils that not all skin types get along with. And if you are acne prone, coconut oil could be really great, but for some people, it's not the friendliest. So I wanted to pick formulas that don't feel heavy or goopy or greasy on the skin, that don't feel like they clog pores or contribute to breakouts, and formulas that hopefully don't sting your pimples or sting your eyes. So let's start here in K-Beauty. This is the Carnell No Sebum Perfect UV Sun Shield with SPF 50 PA++++++. This says it is milky and brightening, and it literally says no sebum. And you know what? This delivers. I have never met a mattified acne sunscreen, but this one sure does come close. Whether you're oily and acne prone or dry and acne prone, this sunscreen is fantastic. It's a mineral formula, so it's less likely to sting the eyes and the open blemishes. It takes a little bit of rubbing to get in, but it does go in really sheer once you do. And on top of that, this has tea tree in it. Tea tree is antimicrobial and antibacterial, so although this isn't going to erase acne off your skin, this is an excellent choice for someone who is acne prone. And specifically, if you're worried about looking greasy or oily, again, it's not mattified, but it looks a little bit less shiny than something like the new Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Sunscreen. Okay, do you know what we're talking about? This Cruelty Free K-Beauty is from a brand called Carnell. You can get this on, I think, Stylevana or Yes Style, but it's also inexpensive and that SPF 50, which we love. What if you are looking for something that gives a little bit of a glow, but that works great for acne prone skin? Zit Sticka Mega Shade. Whew. This is like 40 to 50 bucks, but it is worth every cent and every drop, and I have gotten it on sale. But this Zit Sticka Mega Shade sunscreen does put you in the mega shade. And again, there's nothing in this formula that actively fights acne, but it does have niacinamide, it has tea tree, it has ceramides, and it's made for breakout and sensitive prone skin. Zitstika has some of my favorite acne products on the market. They are a very acne focused brand, and they created this for people who suffer with acne to have a beautiful, elegant formula. Now, this does contain some chemical filters, and I would say this is not the least stingy of the bunch. This is one that it won't light your face on fire, but at the same time, if you have an open pimple, you might want to be super sensitive around that area, or just make sure you test it before like rubbing it all over and being in excruciating amounts of pain. This this formula is very liquidy. It's like a serum texture. And on top of that, this is great for reapplying your sunscreen. If you wanted to use like a beauty blender and put this on the beauty blender or a sponge and top it on during the day, this is a fantastic way to reapply. As you can see, it's very liquidy and it does soak into the skin beautifully. And I have found that this doesn't overly irritate or clog pores. It's not completely mattified. It gives you a little bit of a glow, but it's not atrocious and it doesn't make you look greasy. And it also doesn't feel greasy on the skin. There are just some sunscreens that feel like you are an oil slick, it just feels horrible. But this one does not, although it does give a little bit of a shine and a little bit of a do. And you can see that that's a lot more than the K-Beauty sunscreen. So depending on what you're looking for, this is an option. This is fragrance free and it's made for acne prone skin, but there's another brand that actually has something that's made by dermatologists and with dermatologists. This is also fragrance free and this one is not made specifically for acne, but this brand Apostrophe makes sunscreens that go along with their prescription acne products. Apostrophe has ingredients like spironolactone, they have tranexamic acid, they have niacinamide, they have tretinoin and vitamin A inside of their skincare prescriptions, and they have this screen, sunscreen, that goes along with it. This is fantastic 
fantastic. It does say it's a hydrating formula and it's made for acne prone and sensitive skin. Although again, there's nothing in here that's actually going to fight breakouts. Now, while I do find that these are comparable, this one is a better price and the actual formulation is different as well. This is more of a traditional sunscreen, kind of like a cream feel, as opposed to this serum-y feel that the Zitstika one has. Even on the bottle, it says that this sunscreen is so moisturizing, it perfectly complements acne treatments, which can also sometimes be drying. It also contains zinc oxide, which is the best sunscreen ingredient for preventing hyperpigmentation. And this is from Dr. Amy Pike, who is the medical director at Apostrophe. And it's true, acne treatments can be drying and this sunscreen does play well with them. But in addition to that mineral filter, it's also got some chemical filters in it. So just keep in mind that while it doesn't sting or burn the eyes or the face, you know, if you have a big open lesion and if you are super sensitive, it might bite back a little tiny bit. But overall, it's absolutely gorgeous. It keeps you protected and it does work with a lot of those prescription ingredients. Any of these sunscreens would probably work well with your prescriptions, but knowing that this was actually formulated to work along some of their treatments, which can be drying, is fantastic. And this doesn't have that thick, greasy, lotion-y feel uh, that makes your skin feel like it's suffocating. <laughs> Something else that's made by doctors and dermatologists is the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum 46. This cruelty-free formula is specifically made for acne-prone skin. It's literally called the UV Clear, and they say that it calms and protects acne-prone skin. It has high purity niacinamide, transparent zinc oxide, and UVA, UVB protection, and boy is this good. If you are someone who struggles with acne and hyperpigmentation, this is fantastic because of that niacinamide. Niacinamide stops your skin cells from sharing that melanin, that pigment that is created after a blemish or from sun exposure, and stops it from traveling to the keratinocytes, those skin cells in your skin, which can actually cause some of that discoloration on those blemishes. This is fantastic for anyone who has post-breakout hyperpigmentation or PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and the formula is actually less stingy and burny to blemishes and eyes than the Zitstika one or the apostrophe one. And that's because it's just got zinc oxide and octanoxate. Now I will say that niacinamide has a tendency to pill and this sunscreen can pill a little bit if you use too much. Is there ever such thing as too much sunscreen? Is that a thing? Can someone tell me. <laughs> I use a lot of sunscreen because I've had skin cancer affect people in my family and I've actually seen the damage on patients, clients, as well as family members and so many people who have struggled with literally having holes cut out of their noses and their skin. And knowing that sunscreen helps prevent that from happening is something that I'm very, very interested in. So I use a lot of sunscreen. This doesn't peel terribly. I also feel like it depends on what other product you're using underneath it. But niacinamide does have a tend to pill up. And so if you are using this, you know, with a lot of other products or a vitamin C underneath or putting this under makeup might not be the best choice for you. In addition to niacinamide, this also has sodium hyaluronate, which is that form of hyaluronic acid to help with moisture. And then it does have lactic acid, but it's not really acting as an exfoliant in here. It's mainly a pH adjuster. The niacinamide and the sunscreen is really what's doing the groundwork here, but this is made for acne prone skin and it doesn't feel like it's suffocating you. It doesn't feel like it overly clogs pores. It doesn't sting or burn the same way many other sunscreens do. And this is a fantastic cruelty-free Swiss American sunscreen that is literally made for acne prone skin mind. I actually didn't know that Elta MD was a Swiss American brand until probably three weeks ago. And that was really cool to find out. Another bonus is that this formula is oil free. So if that's something that you're concerned about, this one has no oils. Whereas the Zitstika or the Carnell have other oils in them, such as sunflower seed oil. Now, if you're not afraid of the oils and you're actually looking for something that has oils that are nourishing to acne prone skin, look no further than Averglow. I think it's Averglow or Averglow. I'm not exactly sure. This is the SPF Pure Protection Invisible Mineral Sunscreen. And the entire reason that I tried this is thanks to one of our beautiful butterflies. Anna Banana Alabama Patama in a hammock recommended this on the Discord and asked me to try out some of the Averglow products. And so I got these and tested them out for her. And I do like this sunscreen. It is a completely mineral formula, so it takes a little bit of grease to rub in, but it is also one of the most non-stingy formulas. If you have super sensitive skin, if you're someone who literally everything stings and it burns your eyes, it burns your pimples, like everything, this is going to be a favorite. It's a really nice and silky formula and it does have oils like sea buckthorn oil that are actually really nourishing to the skin. Sea buckthorn oil has tons of antioxidants, vitamin C, it can actually help with wound healing. So if you have some of those open blemishes, this first off doesn't sting and then number two helps them heal. And as an SPF 50, it actually keeps you protected. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit more of a milky formula. This takes a little bit more rubbing in than any of the other ones. So it might not be best for Fitzpatrick types five or six, but overall it is a wonderful formula. It's also got pomegranate seed oil. It's got grapeseed oil, amazing for antioxidants 
and for skin healing and kind of skin support. And it's also dermatologist tested and they say that it is hypoallergenic. Now that term also doesn't have a ton of merit to it, but overall this is a really good brand. The brand is made for acne prone skin and it's literally called the Clear Skin Sunscreen. Even though this has oils in it, I don't find it to be the most oily formula. I actually find it to be a little bit more mattifying than even the Zit Sticka or even the screen one from Apostrophe, but it is not back in that the way some of our Murad options are. I am so disappointed in Murad and the fact that this is only an SPF 15. This is the Oil Control Mattifier SPF 15 PA++++ from Murad and this is a fantastic formula if you are oily and greasy. This is beautiful and it comes out in kind of this pillowy, non-bally, non-pilly formula and this is amazing. It is not the most sting-free. It does have zinc oxide but it also has some of those organic slash chemical filters so it actually goes onto the skin really nicely and it blends in really nicely and again it's not mattifying the way like a powder would be but at the same time it does help to control oil and mattify the skin. My biggest pet peeve is that it's only an SPF 15 and so you do have to reapply it more liberally and then because of the cost of the product um it felt a little rough but this is something that I always have on hand and kind of in my arsenal of sunscreens because yes I literally have an arsenal of sunscreens and if I'm going somewhere where I know it's going to be hot or if I'm going to be sweaty or if I'm trying to oil control underneath a day where I'm using makeup and having powder on top, this is absolutely what I reach for and especially put it in my T-zone. Dr. Murad himself is amazing. He has such a phenomenal story from growing up as an immigrant to going to war and realizing that he didn't want to work in trauma surgery. And so he came back to become a dermatologist and now he works on skincare. He helps people with skin and he paints. His story is phenomenal. I've gotten to meet him in person and he's amazing. And so is this sunscreen. This feels relatively lightweight on the skin. Maybe not as lightweight as something like this one or the zit sticker, but it is almost completely mattified and it keeps that oil at bay, as well as being an option for people who do tend to break out more. And when looking for a mattifying formula that I can use under makeup or something, I also go for sunscreen applicators that are in powder form. There are a bunch of sunscreen powders out there. There's some from Supergoop, there's some from uh, Isden. There's a whole bunch of great ones, but these are some of the best. This right here is from Sandra Lee MD. This is probably the most cost effective one. And what do you know, I'm fresh out. This one actually looks sneakingly suspiciously similar to the Color Science one, the Color Science one. The only difference is that it's available at Target and it's much less expensive. This also comes in different shades. So if you have darker skin versus lighter skin, you have different options when it comes to this. And because it's at Target, like it's very affordable. This one happens to be the SPF 30. It's technically called the UV Bounce. And yes, it is created by Dr. Pimple Popper, Dr. Sandra Lee MD, who is one of the best YouTubers in history. Can I just say like she goes down in Cassandra's YouTube history heart hall of fame. <laughs> now, if you're looking for something that's even more elegant, let's say that you're someone who's really into makeup and you want things that look and feel elegant on skin, Jane Iredale does not disappoint. Like this right here, this is next level. You literally have these refillable cartridges. So this is more eco-friendly and this makeup brush, yes, you can pop it up or down, but it has such a luxurious brush. Do you see the difference in this brush versus this brush? This one's a little bit more prickly. It's not very fine, right? And it's not very dome shaped. This is literally tapered. It feels so beautiful on the skin. It goes on so lovingly and this actually provides really good coverage. On top of that, I find that this is much easier to clean if you wipe this on like a cleansing cloth. This you can actually clean and like keep it sanitary. I found that when I wipe the Calori Science or the Super Goop or even the Sandra Lee MD one on some of those little towelettes, the brush just doesn't seem to last as long and then you have to throw away the whole thing when you're done using it. Whereas with this one, it's completely reusable, it's very eco-friendly and you literally have these little powdered sunscreen pods that you put in the bottom and you can refill and those also come in different colors. I find that this one tends to be a little bit more full coverage for me and if you have the money to spend or you're just like I want to protect my skin I don't wear a ton of makeup but if makeup weren't a chore I would wear it this combines makeup and sunscreen and it is probably one of the best skin friendly purchases that I've ever made now speaking of color science with the downfalls of this brush they absolutely make up in a sunscreen that is basically a foundation and what do you know I can't find it I think I put it in a suitcase maybe I put it in my bathroom I don't know I freaking lost it but you know exactly what I am talking about. It's the Color Science Total Control Sunscreen and it's almost like a bomb. It's an SPF 50. It is definitely the thickest of the bunch, but if you are someone who deals with redness, boom, this covers it up like nothing else. It is tinted, it is fragrance free, and it's actually made for rosacea. So the sunscreen in it helps to stop the sun's rays from irritating the skin, but then that color just goes on and it's literally like a foundation with SPF that is made for the most sensitive of skin types. I find that it doesn't burn the skin, it doesn't burn blemishes, it doesn't burn the eyes. It also doesn't tend to break my skin out. I don't feel like it's clogging my pores, but I will say it is probably the thickest formula out of all of these. So it definitely feels like you're wearing foundation on your skin.
skin. But if you are looking for a full coverage foundation that doubles as a sunscreen, that almost has a, a velvet finish, Color Science SPF 50, that one is it. And that is it for this video. Make sure to reapply your SPF if there's another one that I'm forgetting. Make sure that you tell me and try not to pop those pimples. I know it's hard, but just don't do it. Don't do it because it makes your sunscreen burn more when you put it on. Be beautiful both inside and out, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video where we break down K-Beauty sunscreens for different skin types. And we also go into more details on this one. Love you guys. Bye.